chicken sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are really good for chickens. They're full of vitamins and minerals. And as you can see, the chickens really love them. They're gobbling them up. But these are not the sunflower seeds that you buy in the grocery store. Those are hard but crunchable. These ones, straight from the sunflower, have still got their outer shell. It's a very hard shell and there's no way I could crunch these up even with my teeth. And chickens don't even have teeth. How do they manage that? Let's have a look at their digestive system. I'm sure you've heard me say it before and I'll say it again. Chickens are amazing. They are very different to us and other mammals. They breathe differently from the way we do. I've made a video about that. They reproduce differently. Thank goodness or we'd not be eating their eggs for breakfast. And as you might expect, their digestive system is rather different too. The basic digestive system that we're most familiar with, our own, can be simplified like this. When we put food in our mouth, our teeth chop and grind it into small pieces. Our tongue moves it to the back of our mouth. Our epiglottis closes over our windpipe so we don't choke. And we swallow the mouthful of food down our esophagus and into our stomach. There the food is mixed with gastric acid and then the mixture passes into the intestines where the food is digested and most of the liquid is absorbed. The liquid makes its way through the blood to the kidneys and is excreted as urine while the solids pass out to the dedicated solid waste aperture. The digestive system of chickens and other birds is not arranged like that. To begin with, as I mentioned, chickens have no teeth. Her beak is hard and capable of tearing off pieces of soft food or breaking brittle food into chunks small enough for her to swallow. But she can't bite through a long loose blade of grass and she can't crunch up a mouthful into a paste. She swallows anything she can fit into her beak. And speaking of swallowing, chickens don't have an epiglottis either. They can't close off their airway when swallowing. That's why pouring or squirting anything into a chicken's mouth is so dangerous. So I suggest to never put liquids into a chicken's mouth unless you know what you're doing. The lack of an epiglottis is also why chickens even drink differently from how we do. I have a video about why chickens have to tip their heads up to swallow a drink. So food in a chicken's mouth gets moistened with saliva and then is swallowed whole and passes down her esophagus and into a holding pouch called her crop. Her saliva contains a small amount of the enzyme amylase, which begins the digestion of carbohydrates, but very little in the way of digestion occurs in the crop. It's simply a handy way for the chicken to eat rather a lot in a short time and then go off somewhere safe to start digesting it all. If your chicken had a good meal just before bedtime, you can easily feel her full crop, like a golf ball sized bulge, between her neck and her breastbone, slightly on her right side. If you feel that area again in the morning, you should find that during the night all that food has moved along to be digested and her crop is empty. Although chickens might eat several times throughout the day, this handy food storage pouch, her crop, means she can fill up at bedtime, then digest that food during the hours of darkness. Chickens don't eat when it's dark, so you don't need to keep food inside the chicken house. When daylight comes and she can see again to move around, her empty crop sends hunger signals that tell her it's time to eat. The food in her crop is moved in small manageable portions along to her proventriculus. That's a tubular structure, smaller in comparison to our stomach, but just like our stomach, it's here that the food is mixed with hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes such as pepsin. This really starts the digestive process, but the food still hasn't been chewed. 
it's still in pretty big chunks. Grinding up those chunks is the work of her gizzard. If you've ever butchered a chicken, or even found a little plastic bag of giblets inside a supermarket chicken, you'll recognise the gizzard. It's firm, kind of rounder on one side and flatter on the other side, and has a shiny silver skin that's thinner towards the edges. Under that tendon-like skin is a pair of very strong muscles and a tough, ridged protective lining on the inside. The gizzard's job is to grind up those chunks of food and mix and mash it with those digestive acids and enzymes into tiny digestible particles. If your chicken eats anything other than commercial pellets or mash, even those powerful gizzard muscles aren't enough to grind up hard food like whole sunflower seed. So your chicken occasionally eats grit, little stones or small bits of rock. Don't confuse this insoluble grit with the soluble shell grit that layer hens need as a source of calcium. The insoluble grit stones stay in her gizzard until they are worn completely away by the grinding action as she smashes the food between those little rocks inside her gizzard. Kind of like we mash food between the little rocks in our mouth called teeth. Now chickens aren't very selective when they decide to eat grit and they might swallow a bit of wire or a nail instead. Anything sharp like that can get stuck in her gizzard and eventually the strong contractions can puncture it right through her gizzard lining, causing internal bleeding. So make sure you keep your chicken run free of any such dangerous sharp objects. Passing out from the gizzard, the intestines start to look a bit more familiar and it's here in the small intestine that most of the digestion of the food and absorption of the nutrients takes place. Even if you look carefully at a chicken's intestines, most people will never notice a small bump about halfway along. It's called Meckel's diverticulum. Way back when our chicken was developing inside the egg, she got all her nutrition from the egg yolk. Just before she hatched, the yolk sac was absorbed into the chicken's abdomen through the navel, and all that is left in our now grown-up chicken is this tiny bulge in her small intestine. The small intestine becomes the large intestine, and here's another oddity, two long tubular pouches called cecum. Humans and other mammals don't have cecum, but they're very useful for a bird's highly effective digestion. And chicken keepers ought to know about them. The cecum are filled with bacteria which basically ferment the food and also produce the various B vitamins. Once or twice a day, the contents of the cecum are emptied into the intestine and it comes out as what chicken keepers know as cecal droppings. They look different to a chicken's usual poop. They're kind of a mustard colour usually, a bit runny, frothy, and they stink. The first time you come across cecal droppings, you'll probably think your chicken is very sick, and the smell might make you feel sick. But it's just the normal result of having a tube full of bacteria fermenting that last bit of nutrition from her food. Everything is now on its way to her vent via her cloaca. Most of the water has now been absorbed and filtered out by her kidneys, but she doesn't have a bladder. The urine produced by her kidneys isn't runny like ours. It's thick and pasty white and contains mostly urates. Instead of a separate path to the outside, this all goes into her cloaca and is finally pooped out. You can often see the excreted urates as a white topping on her brown poops. So that's probably more than you ever wanted to know about the inside of a chicken. But I hope you found it interesting and maybe there's some useful reminders for you. Chickens can eat all kinds of hard things but only if they have grit in their gizzard. So because they're inclined to pick up grit, 
it's a good idea to make sure that there's nothing sharp and dangerous in their coop that might pick up and injure them. But don't worry if you see the occasional smelly poo, it's probably just a sepal dropping and they're entirely normal. And don't worry if you feel a big bulge on their stomach when they've just had a big meal that goes away overnight or when they've digested the food. It's just the crop doing the work that it should be doing. What happy chickens. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.